At the end of part two, we cast on 20 stitches. You will need 20 stitches already on your needle to work through this video. If you need help casting on, watch part two first. Okay, I have now got 20 stitches on my needles. You were holding in the right hand your needle. Now we're just gonna switch so you move your needle over to the left hand. And what you wanna make sure is that you have got the working yarn end at the tip of the needle. So make sure that you haven't slid your stitches all the way down. And again, make sure you're not about to accidentally start knitting with your tail. So take a little bit of a gander at the stitches here. Might have kind of twisted around, but that's totally fine. You might wanna scooch them all and twist them back so that you have a nice line. And that will help you make sure that your stitches are all going the same direction and you'll be able to see better where you're going to insert your needle. The very first row of any knitting project is a little bit trickier than once you get going because your loops are going to be tighter than they will be once you start getting stitches by knitting them. And just know that every single row you work after the first one is going to get easier and easier, not just because the stitches are looser, but because you're gonna have practiced. Every single stitch you practice will help you to get better. So I want you to kind of spread your stitches out as much as you can. You kind of, you're gonna need them to all be probably on the tip of your needle, but you wanna have some space in between the stitches. So just focus on the first few to begin with. Where you see your yarn here, coming out your working yarn, this is where we're going to create our stitch. It's important that you actually get your needle to go through the loop instead of going behind your loop. So the difference is, if I loosen this up here with my finger, you shouldn't have to do that, but you can if you need to, you'll see that there's an actual loop on your stitch. What we need to do to knit is to go inside that loop as opposed to going behind it, which would mean that we were actually going to be knitting in between the stitch, which would just result in our stitch falling off and it wouldn't actually get us a new stitch. So make sure that you're going into the loop when we talk about this. Now, the other thing to make sure is that you're inserting your needle in the proper direction. So when we go into our first stitch and every stitch, we're always knitting into what's called the front loop. This right here is the front loop. And this is the back loop. Those descriptions are just talking about where the actual yarn is on your needle. So the front loop is the loop that's on the front of your needle. The back loop is the side of the yarn that's behind your needle. We will teach you the style of knitting where you use your right hand to wrap the yarn. This is called English style. Another classic style is called continental. It is just another way to hold your yarn, but the yarn itself does exactly the same thing. So for every stitch, we want to insert our right hand needle into the front loop. So right there. I want you to make an X with your needle. So I got a nice X and my working yarn is here. I'm holding my working yarn in my right hand and I'm gonna make a loop around my back needle, not my front needle, but my back needle. So I'm going from back to the front and I'm wrapping my yarn and placing it back in between these two needles. Now for new knitters, this next step is the, the, the one that you're gonna have to practice the most because what we have to do is you've got to keep your working yarn snug in your right hand. And then at the same time as you're doing that, you're actually gonna be removing this, the front stitch that's on your left hand needle by creating a new stitch on your right hand needle. So this is my right hand right here. This is my left needle. And what I'm going to do is, and it's okay if you wanna kind of pull your needles apart a little bit so that you can see better where 
your uh, needles are gonna go. So as I carefully slide them up to the top, what I need is for this back needle, the one that your right hand is holding, it's got to come through your stitch and come to the front. Okay, now let's review what we've done so far. But remember, we haven't slipped the stitch off the needle just yet. First, insert your, the right hand needle into the front loop of the stitch from the bottom. Then, wrap your working yarn from the back to the front and place it between your needles, which is the middle of the X. Finally, slide your right hand needle through, through your new stitch to move it through the front of the X. You've inserted the front loop and you've made an X where your right hand needle is in the back. Then you've wrapped your yarn around and you've brought it in between those two needles. And so the next step is we've got to move our right hand needle that's in the back right now. We gotta move it to the front and we can't let go of this yarn while we're doing that. So I'm gonna just slip it carefully here and put it on the front. And the very last step is sliding that stitch off the needle. And now we've created our first knit stitch. And now that we have a stitch on our right hand needle, we can't, we don't have as much space to maneuver. It's okay to stretch the yarn out here a little bit as you're getting used to it, but you're not gonna be able to just drop your needle or let it slide because then you're gonna lose the stitch that you've already created. So we're gonna go into the loop. We're going into the front of the loop, making sure that my needles are in the loop together instead of having one of the needles be behind it. I'm wrapping the yarn around and I'm using my left finger here to help guide the tip and bring it into the front of the X. Once we have the X where my right hand needle has moved from the back to the front, we can slide our stitch off the needle. Insert, wrap it around, guide that needle, move it to the front, and slip your stitch off. And that is the basic knit stitch that all of knitting is built around. You are a knitter. So go ahead and watch this part as many times as you need. And then I want you to continue knitting and get all the way to the end of your first row. Once you're at the end of your first row, you'll know you're at the end because you will completely run out of stitches. All right, I've gotten almost to the end of my very first row. I've got two more stitches to go, so let me just knit this one, and then I'm gonna knit my very last stitch, which happens to be the slip knot, but it's worked exactly the same as all the others. And now, I have knit one row. Uh, all my stitches are now on the right side of my needle. And now I can just drop that needle and have a little break and shake out my hands if you haven't done that already. At the end of every row is you're gonna switch the hand that's holding your needle that has all the stitches on it. So I'm simply gonna flip this around and I'm gonna grab it with my left hand again and I'm ready to go again. We're gonna work the same exact way across the second row as we did on the first row. The bumps that you see right here, that's called the purl side of your work. We're gonna do purling on a different day. So right now, the, the, the front side or the right side of your work is gonna look exactly the same as what we call the wrong side. They're gonna look the same because you're gonna knit across every single row. So you're gonna see bumps every time you turn it around. So we just start by inserting the needle again, wrapping the yarn around your right hand needle, moving our needle in front of our left hand needle and sliding it off. So go ahead and practice. Try to give yourself at least 30 minutes of working on this knitting before you stop doing it. And that will help your hands 
Remember what you've learned. Oh, she's, she's not showing. showing this part. Yeah, she's not this part. Oh, Ellie, you can melt down. down. <laughs> yeah, melt down a too much. Too much. In the back, so that you have a nice X. You hold it in your left hand. Left hand, Just hold this one with your left hand. Hold it like that. That's, 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 that's his right hand, hand, hand. buddy. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. Okay. Um, You're going to wrap it one time, time around. It. Did I do it right? And then you're So the problem is that you are in the front of your needle instead of the back. So remember this one needs to go through it's gonna have a right hand needle in the back and 